There we go. All right. So happy new year, happy 2022, a six year numerologically, which represents taking care of yourself, family, looking at long-term goals and heart's desire. And my numerology material, um, they tell me in there, most people don't really know what they want. So it really takes some soul searching. Maybe you do know, <clears throat> and I used to know until I had this breakthrough a couple weeks ago, and now there's all this space where there used to be a lot of worry and um, concern. So it's just a new place to be in, but we're in a new year and we can check in. By the way, I do have the prosperity planner. Uh, I did go ahead and, and buy that again this year. So if anybody wants their prosperity planner, uh, we can arrange that. And that's the one that gives you a paragraph for each month of the year where it tells you what the energies will be like and then personally what would be conducive for you what is advantageous and what things you might want to avoid so um if you like that from a couple years ago we can do it again I, i'm getting ready to do mine and genie so um anyway it's nice to have a hint a clue so just Reach up tall in your spine. We'll come in for some centering. If you want to ground, just um, bring your index finger and second fingers out. Hold the others with your thumb and place them on the ground. Release anything you want to release to let go of, some, anything that's no longer serving you. Maybe this can be a general intention uh, practice where we just intend for vibrant health, abundant and prosperity, harmonious relationships, And that includes two leggeds and four leggeds. <laughs> and for some, it might include smooth, organized career that may seem like a tall order for all of those but they're all within our ability to manifest so we will intend for all of that so, and with that we'll focus on our breath and just feel it connect with it. Check in with your physical body, muscles, joints. See how your body feels.
What is it asking for today? And then turn palms upward and breathe a full deep breath as much as you can. And release it out. Breathe it up. Breathe in peace and harmony. Breathe out blessings to yourself and to all those you know in this world and the next. And the cosmos, breathe. One more deep breath. And down, just bring your arms around behind you, interlace your fingers and open the chest and shoulders, your throat center. As you stretch, and release your hands, breathe them up overhead, interlace fingers, turn upwards, reach, reach again, reach again, turn to your left, center, breathe, turn to your right, breathe out, breathe into center, release your arms, bring your palms onto the mat in front of you and slide your arms forward, just stretch your low back, your hips, shoulders a little bit, And slide your hands back in. Let your legs out. Stretch them out, shake them out. Windshield wipers, circles, reverse. And sitting tall in Dandasana. Nice alignment in your posture. Flex your feet, press through the heels. And then point your toes. Flex and point, flex and point. And then just squeeze your toes in, contract the muscles and stretch them out. Squeeze and stretch. Okay, so a few spinal rocks, just bring your hands underneath your legs and roll on your spine, kick up, rock and roll. Massage your back. Now you can take this on the side of your ribs as well. And wake up your muscles around your spine. Now, the next time you don't come down, kick up into half shoulder stand, reach for your hips into your palms. I mentioned before we turned the recording on that we would do some jiggles for our internal organs. And we talked before about just moving a little bit. And then we started doing a bicycle. And the most recent one I found, which seems to be the most effective so far, is to shake your legs. Shake, shake, shake. And let it shake down into your low abdomen, your stomach, and upper abdomen. 
shake harder. And then a few bicycles, just to bend your knees, warm them up, reverse. And let your legs passively stretch out to the side. Still allowing all those organs to return to their normal, healthy position. That's our intention here. You can flex and point your toes. Bend your knees, flex, straighten and point. Bend and flex, straighten and point. And just bring your legs back up. If you want, this is optional. Depending how your back feels, you can bring your knees to your forehead or you can just allow that stretch to come down, come up a little more on your shoulders, flex your feet. Keep your hands supporting your low back until your feet touch the floor. Coming into the plow, flex your feet. To complete the pose, you interlace your fingers, straighten your arms out, palms down, and press your arms down. That will align your body forward towards your toes. Now bring your hands on your low back, lift your legs up, and you'll be higher on your neck. And you can jiggle a couple more times. <laughs> All right. And now we're going to come down with control. So let your knees bend. Bring your arms down, palms onto the floor. Lift your chin for this part. And then lower down one piece at a time. Take your time. Keep lifting your chin. One vertebra, one disc. Use your core muscles. And all right. So let's take our arms out to the sides, palms down. Go. Take in a breath. Bend your knees, take your knees over to the right, up under your arm, turn your head left into a nice twist. Pause and breathe, relax. Press down on your arms and shoulders. Lower your low back onto the floor. Breathe in. Take your legs right on over to the left. Turn your head to the right. Keep your knees as high up under your arm as you're able. And stretch into a twist. Let it feel really good. Soften. All right, breathe, lower your low back, your sacrum onto the mat, head to center. Now lift your legs, Really press down in your shoulders and your arms. Breathe. And take your legs over to the right straight. Take your head left. Take your time. And press down on your arms. Lift your legs back up. Use those core muscles, warming them up. Flow right through center to the other side. Take your legs over.
and press down on your arms and shoulders. Bring the legs back up and optional over once more to each side. Your choice. You can bend your knees and go into a twist and relax into it for a moment. And come back up. And over to the other side. And back up to center. And just lower your feet down onto the mat. Bring your arms to your sides. Just bring your knees into your chest. Stretch your legs and lift your head up to meet your knees. And then lower your feet back down onto the mat. Since we did our plow, we need a counter stretch, which would be fish pose, matsyasana. So just um, press side to side and bring your arms closer underneath you, elbows closer and flatten your hands underneath your hips, straighten out your legs. So your legs remain straight, but relaxed. Your feet are flexed, but your legs are relaxed. Take in your breath. Lift up onto your forearms. Open your shoulders. Gently allow your head to relax back. And then just roll down, bringing your head towards the floor, the top of your head to the floor. And remember to relax your legs, just keep your feet flexed. Those of you mentioning little sensations in your lung area, this would be very good as well as the half shoulder stand. to come out of it, just roll back up, start to round your back, chin comes toward your chest, separate your elbows and lower down one piece at a time, gently flowing your spine back down onto the floor, stretch out the back of your neck, allow your arms to come out from under you and Relax, just turn your palms up. A mini, mini Shavasana. All right. So we'll come up now into sitting. Acclimating to being part way up off the ground. And come up onto the balls of your feet. Just rocking a few times forward and back. and slide your hands forward. Bring your forearms down. Elbows, bring them under your shoulders and just walk your feet back into an elbow plank.
and lift your hips up. If you have cloth on your arms, you may want to pull your sleeves up because it's kind of slippery. So just lift your hips, walk your feet in a little closer into dolphin pose. A great strengthener for shoulders, a good stretch for the backs of your legs, ankles. And just lower your knees down. And we'll press up into downward facing dog. <laughs> Lift. All right, walk your feet in towards your hands, separate your feet, and we'll do some hip openers, just a few to loosen up and open the groin, the external hips. All right. Let's come into Malasana or goddess pose. Allowing the low back to relax and allowing Earth's energy to come up into the perineum. Release your hands, just bring the weight over onto your right foot and stretch out your left leg. And we'll switch sides. Giving the inner thigh a nice stretch inside. And bring it back in. Slide your hands forward, lift up into down dog once again. And we'll do our so as openers from here. Uh, turn sideways. So come into three legged dog, lift the right leg up. Reach, keeping shoulders forward. Bend your right knee and open the hip. Lift. And bring it back. Other side. Lift the left leg up. Bend the left knee and with the shoulders facing the mat, lift that left knee up and open the leg, the hip, and bring it back down. All right, let's come into up dog. Come up onto the tops of your feet. Legs are active. Knees are straight. So your legs are not on the floor. Engage the hips. Lift your chin. And then roll up and over the toes. Back into down dog. Now, this part is optional, but just make sure that you don't have any uh, furniture or 
any anything around you for flipping our dog. So come into your down dog. This is optional. You can hold in the position stretching the psoas if you want. Lift the right leg up, bend the knee, open the hip, shoulders remain. Take the hips around, you get a little twist here. You might even be able to see that foot. <laughs> and then just come back, lift your right hand, straighten the left foot, right knee stays bent and come into your back bend here. Right heel is lifted, knee is open and then come around into your plank. Prepare for the other side, come into down dog. Breathe, remember, breathing is good. <laughs> down dog, left leg up. Wait, I've got to, there we go. Bend your knee and start to Take the leg back. Eventually, it'll just come down to the floor. Straighten the right leg out. Left knee is bent. Open the chest. Open like you want to do a back bend here. Look up. And then bring the arm around. Come into your plank. Walk your feet in, forehead to knee pose. And then soften your knees, arms out to the side, push the floor away, arms overhead. Reach up and draw your arms down to your sides. Get comfortable in your clothes. Breathe. Good deal. Okay. So just standing in the center of your mat, feet hip width apart, breathe palms in. Step the right foot forward, just point your toes and then step it forward into warrior one, maybe a short stance of warrior one. Hook one thumb over the other, bring your arms up overhead and keep pressing the arms back. Change your gaze, your drishti, to look at a spot on the floor. Shift the weight onto the front leg. Come into warrior three. Lift the back leg up. Keep lifting the shoulders. Shoulders point forward. Come into a nice straight line. And release the leg down behind you. Bring your palms in. Push back, step back. And other side, left toes pointing. And then take a step forward into warrior one. Overlap one thumb. Reach your arms up. Press the shoulders back. A nice long line. Change your drishti to the floor. Focus on a spot. Transfer the weight onto the front leg. Lift the back leg up into warrior three.
Nice long line. Step it in, palms together over your heart. Pause for a moment, close your eyes, breathe. Remember intentions. Taking care of yourself more than usual this year, more. And caring for family and loved ones, friends, loved ones. Focus on vibrant health, abundant prosperity, harmonious relationships, with all, two leggeds, four leggeds, no leggeds, you know, spirit side. And then breathe, arms up overhead. Open out to receive bounty, energy, love from the cosmos as you lower your arms down. Crisscross your arms up one more time. Breathe, open to receive all the good the universe has to offer you. And palms together. Release your arms. Just come into a standing twist. Swing and loosen in the spine. Let go of any intensity. And back to center in Tadasana. Mindful of your connection to the earth through the soles of your feet. Check your crown chakra, is it open? Just through intention, visualize the lotus flower there opening. Revealing its center where it's open for the universal inspiration and energy to come down into your body. Send it down through your feet into the earth. Collect some earth energy and bring that up with the light energy from your crown. Bring it up your body, all the way up, out the crown, send it out into the universe, collect some more spiritual energy, breathe, and then bring it back in and let it land in your heart. Just cross left hand and then right hand over your heart in gratitude and appreciation for all that we have, all that we are and all that we are becoming. Feel your heartbeat under your hands. Feel your stability even with your eyes closed, pressing feet into the ground, into the earth. And then open your eyes, release your hands, just a few circles in your shoulders. And reverse. And come down onto your mat for Shavasana. Get comfortable, socks, blanket, bolster, cushion, whatever you need to be as comfortable as possible.
across your low back, your sacrum area down into the mat for a moment or two. Make sure your hips are curled under in order to allow your low back to relax down. Shoulder blades, roll them under. And if your shoulders feel a little tight or they're kind of rounded upwards, just take your arms out away from your body a little further and bend your elbow like you're curving them under you. And that will open your shoulders. Imagine how it would feel to have vibrant health, radiant beauty in your health. Abundant prosperity with no effort, just following your guidance, your inner guidance system. Harmonious relationships. Ease and orderliness in your career, all of the above. How would that be? Feel it now.
Now start to awaken back in this dimension in the room where you just practiced your yoga. Intending to bring healing back, healing and balance back from the cosmos. To integrate for vibrant and radiant health, abundant prosperity, harmonious relationships. And ease and orderliness, respect in your careers and your respective daily routine. And now we'll ground all of that with some movements, so which is starting to move fingers and thumbs. Circle around in your wrists, both directions. Wiggle your toes. <sighs> Slide your feet together. Lift your knees up. And stretch your legs in towards you. And come to one side and press up into sitting. Refreshed, rejuvenated, reconnected with all the blueprints for health, prosperity, relationships, career. Bring your hands into jnana just your thumb and index finger, stretch the other fingers out. A mudra to seal in all of these benefits, these energies and these intentions for the whole year. Bring palms together in gratitude. for all that you have and all that is coming to you. May you be filled to the brim with divine love. Namaste, everybody. And thank you for being here today. Thank you. You're that welcome. That was nice. How did it go with the animals? <laughs> <laughs> well, they're like popcorn. I don't know. One of them was, they were behind the couch. One of them at one point was underneath the TV stand. And I was wondering why I was struggling to get out, but he had one of the wires, speaker wires around his neck. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> My hand stretched out for